Jamie Stolars and I'm a registered and licensed dietitian. Today we will be making sweet salmon salad with homemade croutons. Here are some of the basic ingredients that you'll need to make this salad at home. We have our 100% whole wheat bread, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, freshly ground pepper, we have some Italian seasonings, walnut halves, spinach, onion, tomato, bell pepper. We have raisins, canned salmon, and our dressing. It's a mango vinaigrette. Let's get started. First, what we need is a slice of whole wheat bread. It's important to look for 100% whole wheat bread when you're looking at breads at the grocery store. Sometimes they say wheat, but this does not mean whole wheat. Don't be fooled. Look for the 100% to ensure that you're getting the whole grain nutrition that you want. So we're just taking one slice of bread here. And this is a big loaf of bread. You might not eat it uh, within the week, so you can always freeze bread. Uh, that's a great option. If you refrigerate bread, it actually makes the staling process go faster. So you want to freeze bread if you are trying to preserve it. So what we're doing now is we're just going to cut the bread into about one inch squares. Um, it doesn't have to be too exact, but we just want to make sure they're, they're pretty even. So once you cut the bread, you'll just add those to a small baking sheet and kind of keep them close together. Then we're going to add our extra virgin olive oil and just drizzle that on top. This is one of those key ingredients that you use in a lot of recipes. Just add a little bit of that. Next we're going to add our freshly ground pepper, just a dash, a touch of sea salt, and our Italian herbs. This is a great mix to use because it has a bunch of different Italian herbs all in one. It has your oregano, your sage, some rosemary, um, just gets a basic blend of Italian herbs so you don't have to spend the money and buy four different or five different containers. So we're just going to sprinkle this on to taste as however much you really want. And you can smell the, the herbs, it adds a lot of flavor. So next we're just gonna toss these in, coat them a little bit, make sure they're, they're even, and lay them flat. We're gonna add those to the oven now. croutons got a little bit crunchy but they're not done yet. We just want to make sure we get the other side too. So what you do is you flip them over to get some even baking. All right, let's put these back in. Looks like our croutons are nice and done. They're crispy but not too overdone. So now what we're going to do is just Stir them up a little bit to get the extra seasoning on the tray and add them to our small plate so that they can cool. They look, they look great. I can smell the rosemary and the sage. It smells delicious. Can't wait to try those. You can see here the croissants, they look, they look great. Now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is making the toasted walnuts. When you toast walnuts, it really brings out that rich, nutty flavor. So we're just gonna add a couple to a baking sheet, about, about 10 halves. And we're gonna put those in the oven for about 10 minutes. So now we're ready to make the salad. You just need a, a bowl or a plate, something to put your spinach on add the freshly washed spinach, um, or you can buy your own from the farmer's market, but this one's already pre-washed, so we skipped a step here. We're just gonna sprinkle the salad on a plate, get some of our dark leafy greens. Dark leafy greens are a great source of folate. These also are an awesome source of vitamin A, and they have some fiber too. Very, very healthy choice. Anytime you can get the greener lettuce, that's gonna have more nutrients than the whiter lettuce. So that's why we're using spinach here. Next, we're gonna chop up some of our vegetables. We have a nice tomato here. We're just gonna get a slice or two of that. You could chop it up into a, to little pieces so that way you don't have to cut it when you're eating it with a, um, with, with a fork. Just gonna sprinkle these on top. You can use as much or as um, little veggies as you like. The great thing about a salad is it's up to your imagination and creativity. We also have an onion here. We're just gonna peel off these extra layers that we have. Um, onions have prebiotics, which are the, the food that feeds your probiotics in your digestive system. So onions are a great source of, of prebiotics that we can add to our diet. We're just going to cut off that first piece and get, and get rid of that. 
Salads make a great lunch or a dinner. You can make it heavier or lighter depending on the toppings that you add to it. For example, this salad is a great, it's great for a lunch. It's a little bit on the lighter side, um, but it's also very filling. And what makes it filling is the fiber and the protein that we'll be adding to it. Uh, the fiber comes from our vegetables and our nuts. Also, the protein, that, that's coming from our salmon and, and the nuts as well. So we're just gonna take a nice slice of this onion. Onion adds a lot of flavor too. And now we're just gonna chop it up into small pieces. Uh, you don't really wanna bite into a big piece of onion, so we're just gonna chop it up into, into small pieces here now. The great thing about salads too is that you can incorporate leftovers. So you can even use some leftover sweet potato or broccoli or any other vegetables and put it on top. Or if you have chicken leftover from last night's dinner, you can incorporate that as well. Our last veggie we're going to be adding is a bell pepper. Uh, bell peppers come in different colors. You've probably seen the, the red ones, the green ones, yellow bell peppers. Uh, they tend to be more expensive at different times, so you can check to see what's on sale that week during pub at Publix or your local grocery store. So now I'm just going to cut, cut up the bell pepper. We're going to remove the seeds from the inside. We don't want to get any of those into our salad. Just brush them aside. And we're going to, to chop up the bell pepper as well. So same idea of small pieces that you can bite into. The bell pepper is actually another good source of vitamin C. Vitamin C is, was found in broccoli that we made earlier, but vitamin C is also in, in bell peppers. So we're gonna add some of this bright orange bell pepper for a little extra color and flavor here. Now we're going to add some raisins. You can buy box raisins in large boxes or small boxes. Just see what's on sale and what's the size that you use more often. These also are great for snacks. So if you want to put one in um, your, your purse or your backpack and just take it on the go, raisins are a great way to get some fruit in your diet. So we're just going to add a little bit of these raisins on top and spread them out. You can see all the different colors we have here. We have the reds, the yellows, greens. Um, now we're adding this bright purple black to it. Let's top it with our salmon now. I bought canned salmon. This is boneless and skinless. You can buy any variety you'd like. Uh, when you're using canned food, make sure you rinse off the tops to get any of the dirt or dust that's on top. And um, I drained this salmon before. So you just take the, the lid and press it in and drain it over a sink. So now we're going to scoop some of our, our salmon on top of the salad. Canned salmon is a great source of protein in our omega-3s. It's also great because you can store it in your, in your pantry and use it towards the end of the week when you may be out of um, some of the chicken and, or cold cuts or anything else that you may have purchased. All right, looks like we're ready to check on those walnuts now. So we got our walnuts right out of the oven. You can see now that they're golden brown and toasty. They also have a nutty flavor. A bold, rich, it's, it's delicious. It adds a lot of texture and flavor when you, when you toast them. So we're just gonna spread these around our salad. We're adding some omega-3s from the walnuts as well as the salmon. And some protein and fiber. All right, looking good. Our last step is what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our dressing. I chose a dressing that's lower in calories, low in fat. This one also has the omega-3s added to it. So we're getting a triple dose of omega-3s in this recipe. We're gonna pour this on top of the salmon, especially just to give it a little flavor and drizzle it around the sides. You're almost done. Last step, we're going to add our croutons that we made earlier. And we're just gonna put these around. They're nice and crunchy now. Just like croutons you would buy or get in the grocery store or um, from a restaurant, these are whole wheat, so they're healthy. Ta da, here you have it. Homemade salmon salad. Enjoy, let's give it a try. I love the sweet taste that the mango dressing adds. Also the rosemary and the spices from the croutons add a nice addition. Bon appetit.